Brad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over what cloud-based digital signage is and the items you need to put it together. Uh, to get started, uh, digital signage consists of four main components. Your TV, the digital signage media player, internet, and the computer in conjunction with digital signage software. For TVs, you can use any brand. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's a smart TV either. From a size standpoint, anything larger than a 43 inch is definitely preferable. Uh, you want to have you know proper space um, so that when you're putting content on, it's large, big, visible, and bold. Uh, smaller the TV, it's going to look more crowded. Uh, the second thing is going to be the media player, which is number two here. And basically, a media player is a small form device that connects to um, the internet through Wi-Fi or hardwire. And the media player itself would also connect to the TV through an HDMI cable. Once you've got the TV and media player connected, you'd power those two items on and then connect the media player to the internet through either Wi-Fi or hardwire. Once you've got those three items um, up and running, uh, you are well on your way. The last component is going to be a computer, so that could be either your laptop or or um, a regular desktop, and then you'll need a form of digital signage software. Uh, digital signage software is going to let you create the content, put together your advertisements, messages, um, and notifications, and then wirelessly send them to the screen using the internet. Uh, the internet would then transmit the information to the media player, the media player will download it and then play it onto the screen. So it works kind of hand in hand. Again, we'll recap it. The TV, once you've got your TV, you'd get the media player. The media player connects to the TV through HDMI, and then the internet, the Wi-Fi or hardwire. And then the last thing is going to be the computer slash the software that you'll use to create the content. Now let's uh, briefly talk about the media players. Um, from a media player standpoint, um, this unit that you're looking at here is a small form, four inch by four inch by one inch box. Um, it's a commercial grade, so it's rated to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, as you'll see here, it's solid metal enclosure with fence here on the side, let the airflow. Um, and it also comes with our NoviSign app preloaded onto the device. So it's a nice plug and play setup. Simply get the box, connect it to any TV through the HDMI, get it connected to the internet, then you're up and running from the hardware standpoint. So again, you can use any TV, doesn't really matter. If you look online here quickly, you've got here, say for example, a 50 inch TV, get a Best Buy for 300 bucks, that's your cost, 300 bucks. Simply get a media player, 99 bucks. Again, this is the commercial grade box, four inches by four inch by one inch comes preloaded with NoviSign's app. Um, if you have any other devices, say for example, like a Chrome Bit, Chrome Box, uh, an Android TV box that you bought on Amazon for 25 bucks, or Windows computer, that's another type of media player that you can use. Um, so this, this device here specifically isn't required, but if you're looking to get something, um, this is a good price point, uh, commercial grade solid unit. Now onto the software side of things. So using NoviSign's uh, cloud-based software, you'll be able to uh, log in and create your content that you're going to be sending to the screen itself. We do offer a 30-day free trial that you can um, sign up for. It's a free trial. There's no credit cards needed or anything like that. You can simply select the open account page and punch in your information, and um, you can get started and put together some content for some templates and everything like that. Um, as far as the interface and how it works, um, this is a cloud-based interface, and what that means is from any computer uh, or laptop using a Chrome browser, um, you'll be able to create your content. You can pre-schedule it to send it to um, um, the, your TV at specific times. You can set recurring schedules. Um, this is the interface itself. It's broken down into three parts here. So it says creatives, then it says playlists, then it says screens. Uh, the creatives is where you make your content, the playlist is where you schedule your content, and screens is where you send it. So let's say, for example, I want to create something new. I'm going to hit the Create From button. It takes, takes me to my library of templates. And here I can either uh, keep the landscape orientation, or if I want to switch it, say, for example, I'm putting my TV 
the portrait and I want to have it top to bottom. We do have the portrait options as well, and that gives us our full library. But for today, keep it in landscape. Um, notice here we have over 200 different templates available. Uh, we've got here uh, three day forecast, five day forecast. We've got motion graphic, uh, holiday, uh, different templates. Um, all of them are free form design. So let's say, for example, if I want to move this text box over, simply click move it over. If I want to get rid of something, simply click delete. Um, other templates that we have included um, get broken down by vertical as well. So here's our section for uh, menu boards. We've got chalkboard style, barbecue style, quick serve combos, um, coffee shops. Then it gets into our templates for schools, so K-12 elementary. Then it gets into healthcare, so hospitals, medical clinics, um, dentists as well more dentist office, then it gets into retail and advertising, um, so stuff for putting ads, commercial, stuff like that. Then we get into menu boards, so chalkboard style menus, three column menus, uh, build your own menus. Uh, then it gets into corporate communications, so templates for lobbies, um, templates for, say, your break room, um, entrance points, high traffic areas, digital directories, employee of the month, birthdays, and we've got templates here for hotels, casinos, hospitality, um, more menu boards, events, five-day five day events, um, daily events, more menus. So as you can see, we have a very strong um, uh, collection of professionally designed templates that are all customizable. Um, how it works itself is very, very simple and straightforward. Uh, so I'll open up something here really quick. And go through the options. Uh, so if I preview it here, we've got here a basic uh, three, three, uh, three zone uh, setup. On the bottom is a scrolling ticker with local news, national headlines, what have you. On the right here is a scrolling um, text ticker of custom text of information that I can put. And then on the left here is a uh, slideshow. So if I wanted to customize it, I can simply click on one of the zones. I can make it smaller, move it around. If I want to move this over, I can. Or if I want to delete it, simply click on the item and delete. So it's a freeform design tool, drag and drop setup. Um, as far as items and things that you can put onto the screen, we have them all here on the left. Um, they're known as widgets. And basically a widget is a media form that you can add to the screen itself. So we've got here text, we've got images, videos, we've got slideshows, scrolling tickers, RSS feeds, media RSS feeds, YouTube, Ustream, weather, a clock, a countdown, shapes, a web page, web image, web videos, you can sync it with an FTP site, touch screen, a template within a template, you can add Twitter feeds, Instagram feeds, virtual queue, Yammer, uh, M3U8 feeds, we have an advertising widget, uh, we also have a calendar that syncs with Office 365 so that you can sync and pull all of your calendar events and throw them onto the screen. Uh, we also have a charts dashboard that shows metrics. So if you have KPIs or different um, statistics, uh, bar charts, pie charts, what have you, graphs, you can sync that with the uh, dashboard. Uh, we have a table widget that you can um, display uh, different feeds of information with through APIs or CSV files. We have a stop and go and then HTML. So let's say, for example, I wanted to start with this uh, backdrop here. So on the right, it says background. So here I can either change a uh, color, solid color, right? Or if I wanted to search for a backdrop, we have over 500,000 images that you can pull from. So let's say, for example, I want a chalkboard style. So I click on chalk, or type in chalkboard, and it generates a whole listing of different options um, that I can choose from. Again, these are all free, doesn't matter what you select, all of the items are included. So now I added my chalkboard. So now let's say I want to start with a uh, weather. So click and drag my weather, and on the right, the properties, so I can type in my location, and it will populate. So now I'm going to Chicago, I'm going to change it to Fahrenheit, and then I can change the font, color, I can make it bigger smaller orientation, bold, unbold, the whole nine yards. It's a very simple freeform design. Same thing here on the conditions. If I want to change those to white, I can put those as white. And there we 
go. Simple, and I can move it around. But for right now, I'll just leave it there. So now I've got my weather forecast here on the top. And then let's say I want to start with um, putting a slideshow over here. So I'm going to click and drag my slideshow widget. So notice how it's very simple, uh, easy, flexible. Then on my right, I can upload my files. So if I click the camera, I can upload any files that I have, so whether it be JPEGs, PNGs, MP4 videos, all of the standard files we support. So right now, I will just click on two images here. I'm going to set them to rotate through every three seconds. So now I've got a slideshow here. Uh, and then maybe I want to put a video. So on the right, I'm going to drag my video. And again, for the videos, we support the MP4, so you can simply upload them from your computer. So now I've got my video here, and maybe I want to put a scrolling ticker, so like a news feed or something like that. So I'm going to drag that over, adjust it here. And on the right are the properties. I hit this drop down. I've got some options. These are all free, natively included. Al Jazeera, BBC, BBC World, CNBC, CNN. we got all the sports channels, so ESPN and Cricket, MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL, Soccer, Tennis. We've got... Uh, Top ESPN News, NBC, New York Times, NRG, Reuters Health, Reuters Entertainment, Reuters Sports, uh, Sky News, Reuters Top News, Watch the Post. I'll just click on Top News. Uh, then here it says Speed, Direction, and Title. So if I wanted to scroll to the left, and there we go. I'm going to make the speed go 20. Then it says Title Format. So notice all of the different options that I have. Everything is customizable. Uh, very, very, very easy. If you can use PowerPoint, you can easily use NoviSign in setting up the zones so that they have a specific look and feel that you want. Now, if I hit the preview, um, notice here, it's loading up. So we've got here a video playing, we've got our slideshow going, at the bottom we've got our picture. Very, very, very simple to put together the content. And there we go. And if I want to save it, simply hit save or go back. So using the Sign system, you can quickly put together your content. We've got over 200 different templates available. All of them are customizable. There's um, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds of templates for you to browse through, choose from, and uh, play with. And um, best of all, you can try NoviSign out free for 30 days. Um, by simply going to our website, nobisign.com, and uh, hitting the, the tab here that says Open Account. And, um, you know, you can definitely try it out, see how you like it, and uh, get yourself started um, with putting together some content and sending it to your TV. Um, thank you, and if you have any questions, you can send us an email, info at nobisign.com. Again, um, info at novisign.com. We look forward in working with you and answering all of your questions. Thanks. Bye.